Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at trigger reset on an assortment of guns. Starting from the left to the right, we have the Smith & Smith and Wesson MMP Shield 9mm, Sig Sauer P365 9mm, Sig Sauer P320 X5 full size 9mm, Sig Sauer P320 X5 Legion full size 9mm, CZ P10, full size, 9mm. Sig Sauer P229 E2, 9mm. This is the predecessor to the Legion. Kimber, Micro 9, obviously 9mm, 1911 style. And the Kimber Ultra 2, 45 caliber, uh, 1911. Starting from the left to the right, all of the guns have had their uh, slides racked, so we'll just start from the beginning. Pulling back, there's your travel, essentially no creep, brake, reset, and brake. To clean brake, um, I like it. It didn't cost a lot. P365, there's your take up. There essentially is not much creep at all. It's just going to break. Okay. Racket. Reset. There's your creep a tiny bit. And break. P320, it's already racked. So, take up, creep, tiny bit, and it breaks exactly at 90 degrees. Rack, reset, creep, break. P320 Legion, there's your take up. Creep, break. Reset, creep, it'll break exactly at 90 degrees, and it did. CZ P10 full size. I'm not a fan of one of these triggers. I, I don't like this type of a safety trigger, and the trigger's rounded, it's not flat. But here's your take up, and there is no creep at all. It's just gonna break, okay. Rack the slide. Reset is great. And break. One more time. Reset. Break. If it had a flat trigger, I'd rank, I'd rank it higher. The P229. This has a wonderful trigger. And this is for a double action, single action. Since the slide's already racked, here's your take up. Seems like a lot, but once you're, once you're on, here we go. Break. There is no creep at all. Reset. Look at that reset. And again. Beautiful trigger. And now we get into the 1911 style. This is 9mm. Here's your take up. And there is no creep. Break. Reset. Break. And now to the 45 1911. There's your take up. Break. Reset coming up. Break. And once again. Reset and break. So there you have it. It is what it is. Thanks everyone.